Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor of Central United Methodist Church, and this is my daily devotion for Wednesday, May 27. Do you like waiting? I don't think anyone likes waiting, whether it be at the doctor's office or in line at the supermarket or line especially at an amusement park, right? Or, or waiting for gas. Do you find yourself, if you're waiting for gas, uh, you know, twiddling your thumbs on the, dry, on the uh, steering wheel, waiting to, to move forward in the gas line? We don't like to wait. And friends, I fear that we're, we're becoming a society that uh, is getting worse at waiting. In fact, have you ever put a cup of coffee in the microwave and just kind of sat there impatiently, stood there impatiently in front of the microwave, waiting for your cup of coffee to come, you know, maybe 60 seconds later? <laughs> well, we're going to read about a time of waiting in, in, our, uh, in the book of Acts. I'm going to pick up w- from yesterday's devotion. Um, we're in the first chapter of Acts. You remember in the first five verses that Luke is writing, saying that Jesus had spent 40 days after the resurrection and before he was lifted up into heaven with the ascension. And, uh, and he promised them the gift of the Holy Spirit. So let's pick up with verse 6 in the first chapter of Acts. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took them took him out of their sight. <clears throat> well, friends, when it comes to waiting, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Boy. <clears throat> Robin, this is take two. Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor of Central United Methodist Church, and this is our devotion, uh, daily devotion for Wednesday, May 27th. We print up devotions or, or we, and we email them out to, to you uh, for our worship services. You can re- receive one of these by calling our church office and asking for one of these devotions. Friends, today I'd like to ask you a question. Do you like waiting? I don't think anyone likes waiting, whether it be at the the doctor's office or, you know, those few minutes before the movie starts when we used to go to movies and and you sit there and you're waiting for the movie to start or at least the previews or to wait for uh, your line, wait in line at the uh, at the uh, coffee shop or in the gas line or heaven forbid, an amusement park. We don't like to wait. And I fear, friends, that as as a society, we are getting worse at waiting. Have you ever stood in front of a microwave waiting for your cup of coffee impatiently? I mean, for 60 seconds you're waiting for that hot brew to come out? We don't wait well, I fear. Well, today I want to read a little bit about what happened in the scriptures in the book of Acts. Um, as it begins uh, to tell us about uh, Jesus uh, going up into heaven, the ascension. But it was a time of waiting. You remember yesterday we spoke of uh, this time of 40 days in which Jesus offered final instruction to his disciples, where they were with the risen Lord for 40 days, receiving that final instructions so that they might bear witness to the fact that Jesus was alive. So let me start then, or let me start uh, or continue on with verse 6. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the time or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses to Jerusalem, to all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up into a cloud and taken out of their sight. Well, waiting is uh, an interesting thing in our faith. But waiting when it comes to our relationship with God and our relationship with one another, when it comes to 
waiting, times of waiting uh, in our faith to prepare for a task that God has called us to do, we, we should remember that it's not a passive time. It's, it's, a, it's an active time for us. The cue for that, it, we find at the very end of Luke's gospel. You may remember that Luke wrote both the gospel that bears his name and he wrote the book of Acts. And at the very end of uh, the book of Acts, the last two verses, verses 50 and, uh, well, actually it's three verses, the last uh, 50 to 52 uh, of, that, uh, of the Luke 24, says this, He led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them, and he was carried into heaven. Another explanation of that ascension. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven, and they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple blessing God. So what were the disciples doing as they waited for this gift of power that would be delivered when Jesus was taken from them, the gift of the Holy Spirit? They were worshipping. They were in the temple blessing God. It was an active time for them. I, can, I imagine that they were continually in prayer, seeking to be in union with what God wanted for them, seeking that presence of God in their lives that they experienced with Jesus, maybe wondering, maybe it was a time of confusion. Maybe it was a time just to sit still and listen for the Lord. Listening is also an important part of our waiting when it comes to our faith. So witnessing involves the sharing of our faith. It involves working for justice and peace in our world. God's power enables the transformative witness to take place in our lives, and therefore when we share our faith in the lives of others. Have you ever felt God's power within you? Can you imagine what that power would feel like? Sometimes you have to wait for it. But ask yourselves, when you're waiting, what are you doing? Are you in prayer? Are you blessing God? Are you listening for God's word? Waiting is an active time in our lives as followers of Christ. May it be so for you. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to be patient. Help us to wait for you. To let it be a time of preparing our hearts and minds for your word, for your direction, for your guidance upon our lives. We ask for that as we anticipate the continual blessing of your power that comes to us through the Holy Spirit. We pray for that power. We pray for your presence, and we pray for your peace. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day, friends. Bye-bye.